Parenting can go from having a loving relationship with your kids to having an all-out civil war. But how far is it too far when it comes to parenting? Today, we're going to be looking at the most extreme punishment by parents to their children. These are some of the worst punishment any parents had ever punished. Let's start off easy. Child in a box. If you thought getting sent to your room was bad when you were little, thank goodness you aren't the kids of James and Samantha Taylor. The Ohio couple decided that the best way to punish their three kids for behaving badly was to put them in a plastic storage bin for up to 30 minutes at a time. The parents cut a small hole for the kids to breathe and even used the hole to pour water in, making this more torture than punishment. When the no. authorities found out, the children were removed from the home and now the parents must face their punishment in the form of time behind bars. <sighs> I feel so bad. How on earth can they think of this punishment? I think the best punishment for this couple is giving them the same punishment they gave to their kids. And they will know how it feels. Needle torture. Needle torture. If you think Samantha and James Taylor's first type of punishment was bad, then wait until you hear this. The Ohio couple would make their children stand in the corner on their tippy toes. To make this punishment more like a torture you'd expect in some secret government prison, the children would be forced to hold weights and have pins placed under their heels. When they became tired and lowered their feet, the pins would stick oh, into the obvious goodness. This is awful. <laughs> I even asked myself whether the children have the phobia for needles. It's like the parents don't care about you and your worst fear. They shouldn't have a kid because if they love their kids, they shouldn't do this to them. Button cold treatment. If there is one thing parents hate, it's when their kids lie to them. One mom devised a near torturous way of dealing with her seven-year-old when she got caught lying. Jessica Beagley first poured hot sauce into her son's mouth and made him swish oh. it around while she lectured him on what he had done wrong. Not finished there, Beagley sent her son to the showers where he was doused with cold water. The video aired on Dr. Phil and caused a strong divide. This is really extreme and probably the most painful punishment in this entire video. This is a kind like a new type of old soap in the mouth punishment basically. I think that he should be sent out to the hospital to check his mouth. It may be burnt up. This is absolutely awful. Just think about it. Six years old boy, full mouth of hot sauce. Ugh. I feel really sad for him. Starvation. Odds are that when you were little, you may have been sent to your room without dinner because you were misbehaving. One Pennsylvania couple took this type of punishment to an extreme level. Mark and Susan Hooper were accused of using starvation as a form of punishment for their three children. We're not talking about withholding a dessert here and there, but multiple days on end with nothing more than the occasional bowl of porridge in the morning. The children were so undernourished that they were underweight and had some growth deficiencies. It was only when they ran to a neighbor's to ask for food that authorities were alerted and put the parents behind bars. This parent should be taken to court, obviously, and the children should be taken away. This must be very bad for the kids. And yeah, I recommend not starving your kids. If you don't love them, you shouldn't have a kid. Humiliation. Imagine being dressed up like a baby and forced to run around outside your house as a punishment. A Minnesota couple disappointed that their 12-year-old daughter's grades did just that. After shaving her head and forcing her to wear a diaper, the angry parents forced the girl to run around outside in front of dozens of onlookers. When the no, parents were arrested, they don't do didn't that. they had done anything wrong. This isn't as crazy as the other ones in this list. I myself wouldn't care much if my children got bad grades because it don't matter here. It don't affect your chance to get a good job. They should have their electronics taken away until they get better mark. No technology. Because technology distracts the kids from studying. Social media gunplay. As one North Carolina teen discovered, ranting about choirs and criticizing your parents on Facebook can come back to bite you. Tommy Jordan, the girl's father, found the post and created a video of his own that he posted online. Jordan clarifies his daughter's hardships before highlighting how good her life actually is. Mm -hmm. Not done there, the irate father takes his daughter's laptop and proceeds to shoot it full of holes with oh. his 45 caliber handgun. Jordan's video divided parents everywhere, but for his daughter, it was surely a huge and very public embarrassment, which very quickly went viral. I watched this video already, it went viral, and the story is the dad who kept telling his daughter to stop posting disrespectful stuff about him and her mom on Facebook. The dad got so much hate from young people for this because they think he's way too harsh. And here's the few clips of this video. 
This is for my daughter, Hannah, and more importantly for all her friends on Facebook who thought that her little rebellious post was cute. Five. These are exploding. I got two left. This family were invested by charge of it. The laptop model isn't a crime. The policeman even congratulated him on doing the parenting rights. The cops supporting a guy who shoots things to solve problems is too stereotypical to be true. Threats. Like using a belt, the threat of or actually burning kids as a punishment is very wrong and definitely one of the worst methods on this list. Unfortunately, it's all too common as news stories regularly appear about parents who use lit cigarettes to punish their kids for one reason or another. Whether an Atlantan couple burning their infant or a Seattle man trying to punish misbehaving nieces and nephews, this terrible form of punishment seems to occur all too often. They should be sent to jail, which will teach them how to be good parents and not to be terrible parents like this. Kidnapping. Out of options, some parents have paid complete strangers to come into their home, grab their child, load them on a plane, and fly them to what is basically a medium security oh. prison in another This country. is true? Still terrified by the abduction and plane ride with strangers, kids being punished by visiting Tranquility Bay face living in conditions that resemble the cross between a prison and a boot camp. Mm. Physical abuse. They may make the kids appreciate what they have. One of the worst punishments ever doled out by parents. Fortunately, it is now closed down. This is really bizarre and hard to believe. This is the ultimate way to traumatize your kids, that they have to live by your rules or they will get punishment. Okay, I love you guys so much and I will never punish you guys like this. I love you guys all. Let me know if you think any of these punishments were okay and which is the worst punishment do you think? Goodbye!